Pleased with yourself. I'm you? just loving it, man. This is, you know what? This is great. I'm having. What's up, wrestling fans? This is Bobby Dahl taking over again. Back in your living room on your computer. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Hey, this was the great. You know, I haven't had a time like this in a long time. I'm so excited, and I get to share with you exactly what happened. Blow, blah, blow, man. This is gonna be wonderful. You know the. the <laughs> Many is the time that on the Gulf Coast you've been involved in controversy. I'm Mr. Controversy. Don't blame you, huh? Don't blame me. I didn't do nothing. Wow. I was there. You were a part. Well, we're going to get to that in a minute. First, we want to tell you, fans, we want to appreciate every one of the Loxley fans coming out. I'll tell you what, that was the biggest show we've had yet. Great fans. They got treated to the Bobby Doll extravaganza, didn't they? They were treated. To they something. got exactly what they wanted. These. These fans, and yet, you know what, you know it, you know it out there. You asked for this. You pushed us in this direction. We only did what the fans wanted. True? The inmates are running the asylum. I, that's the only way to do it. Isn't wow. that great? How do, you, how do you feel right now sitting next to me, the man who orchestrated the whole thing? How do you feel? Well, to be you honest, feel? I'm, you, a, I'm a little scared. I'm are a you little tingling? worried. Well, no. You yes, know, you are. For the fans that don't know, that match should have been stopped after that first heart punch. Why? Everybody. Well, because... This is pro wrestling, man. He, look, he got exactly what he deserved. He would come out. He, look, I was everybody's joke. I, you know what? I actually played along with the gimmick. I did everything. I jumped through the hoops. I was everybody's little Susie, you know. And they got a big laugh out of it. Everybody loved it. They had a great time. And I, lack of a better word, was the butt of everybody's joke. Well, I can understand. But who had the last laugh? Obviously, you and uh, the Wiggins Axe murderer, Wade Garrett, did. But you I know, love Wade. I can I can grant you the fact you wanted a little retribution. You wanted a little revenge. You were you were the butt of many jokes. A lot you know, a lot of people had laughter at your expense. Mm -hmm. But you don't think you crossed the line a little bit? You don't cross think what you, line? Cross what line? Cross cross what line? Tell me tell me where is the line to cross in this business? What line did um, I cross? I, now, if it would have happened to me, you would have people writing in fan mail. Oh, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. But because I did it, what happened? You're all upset because well, Iron Claw got a, got a bruised heart, got a contusion of the heart muscle. Give me a break. Well, let's not forget the CEO of Planet Wrestling, Elliot Wiggins, also sustained some injuries. He stuck his nose where he didn't belong. Now, I didn't have nothing to do with that. All I know is is that he tried to help Eddie. And look, thank goodness you didn't try to get up in there and help him. Because the same thing would have happened to you. Okay? That, look, that's, listen. Before we get started, let me just go this route. We had business to take care of. Didn't I sit here on the last show and actually tell you and everybody else exactly what was going to happen you called your shot okay so i i you know what i just laid it all out there okay so what did you expect was going to happen well you know i figured this was a new millennium a new bobby doll maybe you wouldn't have crossed that line i was talking about i can't specifically identify the line but wherever that line is i have a feeling you and the wiggins x murderer crossed it oh we didn't cross it we we actually drew a new line we raised the bar you up the ante we of course we did we we are listen let me just let let me just express this. Alright? We raised the bar to a level that no indie show here can even touch. Agreed. Okay? We are the bottom line, without a doubt, the absolute premier wrestling organization. So we have to have the top of the line premier wrestlers. Okay? Agreed. Now, you know, when you come to our show, you're you know what, you're not gonna see the same crap that you see, you will see true action. After that show, after that wonderful, beautiful event, I'm so excited. I know you are. After that happened, did the fans barrel out like they do with every other show? No. What did they do? Many were outside looking for the EMTs. There Many you go. were just hanging around to check on the condition. Of Nobody wanted to leave. You know why? because they enjoyed it. 
They enjoyed seeing Iron Claw foam at the mouth, bleed from the mouth. They enjoyed watching Wade Garrett thrust. Now that's a new, listen, I'm not talking about the same old Ox Baker heart punch, which is vicious enough. It's banned in almost every wrestling organization from coast to coast. I'm not talking about that. We changed it. We made it better. We made it more, is the, is actually more vicious even a word? Well, we'll make it a word. Okay. I mean, you, you, if we cross the line, that's the line we cross. Because me and Wade worked on that. Not only did he hit him once or hit him twice, he thrusted with both hands. So you took a potentially fatal move and made it even worse. Well, you let me modified tell you, it. Look, you know what? There's always going to be consequences. Hey, I got kicked out of the hunting club. Oh, whoopee. Okay. <laughs> you know, I got tossed aside by all of our buddies. Whoopee. What I did get was some respect. That's what it's all about? That's what it's all about. It's about wow. respect. Well, let's dab into some of the other great matches we saw that night. Let's we, dab. We had a battle royal to determine one of the number one contenders for the light heavyweight title. Yeah, yeah, now that I don't understand. Mays got ahead of himself. You know, you know what, that was his to lose, okay? Why he actually went after Sugar Lips, I have no idea. But he did. He actually he actually went after Sugar Lips, trying to settle some score for whatever reason. I have no idea. Tried to settle that and ended up throwing his own self out. And yet Sugar Lips stood there, had no clue what was going on. He He's in there dancing. And he is. You know what? Sugar Lips, who isn't even a wrestler, is actually the number one contender now. For the light heavyweight championship, the first belt that I think we're going to have. Sugar Lips has inadvertently become one of the number one contenders, whether I, he likes it or not. I don't but, know what's going to happen there. Now, I know this. Backstage, you know, Mays was just furious. He was so mad. But that was his fault. That well, was his fault. If there's one point of retribution here, it's that he will get another chance. Yeah, another because in about royal. two months, we're going to just have another battle royal in order to, uh, you know... Get that other number right. one contender spot. So, but... I mean, that was his to lose, and it's, you know, it's a shame when that stuff happens, but when you get ahead of yourself, you know, that's how it is. Uh, also in action, we had the ever-so-popular Mike Fresca taking on one of your favorites, the Nigerian Nightmare. Uh, you know what, I was trying to talk with him backstage. You, you just can't talk with him because, <laughs> right. I mean, he speaks, what, Swahili or something. I don't even know. I but, don't understand his vernacular, but, but, he, but man, he's a monster in the ring, isn't he? Good grief. And you know, this this match kind of impressed me because it went to a time limit draw. Oh, yeah. You know, something that hasn't happened to the Nigerian Nightmare but, yet. But also, you know what? Apparently, Fresca's coming in to his own. People are starting, you know what, you know what, just to, you know what, just to get behind him. I mean, right. everybody likes him. So that, I'm sure, had a lot to do with his drive that he had. You Absolutely. think so? I, I agree 100%. Well, you know. Uh, also in action, we had a returning, one of my favorites, Chris Rocket taking on Ron Horn. A <laughs> little bit of controversy at the end of this match. Well, Something about a little bit some... of controversy before because Ron Horn was screaming, I want Rocket, I want Rocket. Ricky Rocket. Well, yeah, but you know what? In that last match, you know, a Rocket had basically just chipped his elbow real bad. Right, okay? the, the infamous dog collar match. From I mean, the that's how brutal event. it was, all right? So, so what did he do? Fans, you might not know this. But actually, Chris Rocket is actually Ricky Rocket's cousin. Now, those two guys don't get along. No, they do not. But they love to fight. And if they're not fighting somebody else, teaming up against other people... They're fighting each other. Yes. <laughs> it is unbelievable. They are always fighting somebody. Well, you know, like I said, Chris Rocket, one of my absolute favorites. It was great to see him back in the ring competing. Uh, Something about some brass knuckles at the end of this match. I, I was well. You know what? Ron Horn had the brass knuckles. Apparently so. Because he got caught with them. Yeah. True. True. Okay. You know what? It actually serves him right. Horn was so upset about basically what happened in that chain match that he wanted to like even the score, so he brought some brass knuckles. Well, we, we didn't have a chance to get any comments from him. I, I would have loved to, but needless to say, the winner of that match was Chris Rocket. Well, now coming up in the next segment. I have somebody that I think we're going to just talk to here. We've got Turbo Ted's going to be here now. Wow! You know, I don't now. I don't want to talk much about the match right now because, because I, you know, let's see what is it, dude? You know what? I mean, I've got him coming, but he basically went up against one of our students, a kid who who actually 
come up and got in my face and said, I'm ready, give me a shot. And so you gave him the stiffest guy on the coast. Absolutely I did. Wow. And I actually, you know what, I just, I basically fed him to the wolves. Because if you're in Planet Wrestling, you know what, you've got to be able to handle just about anything. Wow. You know, now, I will say this. A Nick Mason, okay, as a student, could go to any other company and probably win the belt. But... If he's a planet wrestling, he's down here, okay? So he has to work his way up. So, you know what? He is he is actually going to get some of the some of the absolute toughest competition we have. And so we threw him up against a veteran, right. Ted. So, anyway, so in probably about what five or six minutes, man, with us we'll be talking with Ted. So, awesome. Uh, also in action, we saw Party Gras Justin Stone taking on Simply Amazing Kurt Matthews. Kurt Matthews. Yeah. I mean, you know, what can you say? Well, I can I mean, say you know Kurt what the Matthews won the match. You know what? The man's built. Yes. Okay? The man looks good. Okay? He's got skills. Okay? He's, you know, he's, he is, he is a constant professional. He is out there trying to find his own. Right. I, I had a chance to talk to Matthews after the match. He said, you know, while well, Party Gras is so worried about partying, I'm worried about winning matches. That, hey, you know, and that's the attitude he has. And that's why he fits in good with Planet Wrestling. Uh, still a, tr a tremendous match. Uh, I have to say the fans had a real thrill. Action-packed from bell to bell. Oh, every match was action-packed. Oh, yeah. Uh, coming up next, we had a mixed tag match, something we haven't seen on the coast here in a while, when it was Rex Andrews and Vision you know, taking on Justin Overstreet and Mackenzie York. I didn't watch the match, but I watched it later on the tape. I'm a fan of Mackenzie's. She has such an in-ring charisma, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, she yells, she screams. I believe she has a little bit of the rage in her. You think so? I can't confirm that, but I believe so. You know what the big thing about actually women workers are? If you catch them at the wrong time, they will bite your head off. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Unbelievable. So she was vicious, though. I mean, just downright vicious. Right. And, you know, I'm going to tell you what, man. Oh, you know what? You know what? Justin Overstreet. Uh, did you see him? I mean, he was. I thought that I saw him trying to wrestle a, you know, an actual good, clean match. Absolutely. You know, I mean, him he and got him. pulled into the dark side a couple times, but. Right, well, Justin Overstreet and Rex Andrews, two up-and-comers on the coast, both can do a, a, a te technical match. Talented guys. Um, at the end of the match, in which Vision and Rex Andrews won, Rex Andrews offered a handshake to Justin Overstreet. Did you see that? I wonder why that was. Uh, the only thing I can figure is a mutual respect was earned in that match, because it was a hard-fought match. It was a very entertaining match. True. But Mackenzie York, none too pleased with Justin Overstreet oh. shaking his hand. Was Several she, though? Wow. <laughs> You know, and but, I, I know, got that exclusive interview with him in the back, and she was still not in a better mood about it. But you basically, know. you know what Overstreet says, says, you know what, it was a good match. That's what he kept saying, it was a good match. Right. So, you know. We'll have to keep an eye on this situation. What can you say? I, <laughs> I like Vision. She's a tough competitor. And, you know, I don't think that basically, man, with us, we have seen the last of her either. Because I think Absolutely she is. not. She, I mean, and, you know what, everybody loves her. Yes, You know do. what, the fans love her. Yes, they do. So, anyway. What else? Uh, well, I think probably we should take a break. Okay. We'll bring our special guest on. We'll be right back. All right, fans, we're back, and this is a segment that I'm really, really proud of. You know, you know, this is where you actually get get to know each of our stars, each of our top guys, and I want to just introduce to you Turbo Ted. Turbo Ted, you have been in this business for about how long now? 28 years. Oh, 28 years. November 29 years. 29 years. Now, you know, that's what makes basically our show that much better is that basically, man, we have newcomers and also, man, with us, we have veterans. And not only do we have veterans now, we have the actual self-proclaimed stiffest man in this business. Ain't that right? That's what I've been told. That, I, mean, see? I, I don't claim it to everybody you know else what, does. You know what? You know what, man? This is not a it. soft man's business, is it? No, it is. You, you know what you got to be. Get out of my ring. That's it. You know what you got to be tough as nails to be in this business. That's and this right. man here has actually chewed up a couple nails, hasn't you? Yes, I have. <laughs> and spit out tacks, Spikes. didn't you? Yeah. There you go. Well, Ted, tell us about your past, man. Tell us about what you've done in this business for a while. Oh, I've done uh, just about everything. I've been commissioner of a couple of organizations, uh, referee. Yep, and you used to wrestle Continental, right? 
Yeah, I sure did. Wrestled for Continental, too. Absolutely. You know, I helped start up an organization here in Pensacola, Florida, too. WOW, World Organization of Wrestling. You know what? You know, I actually went down there when I was just a kid, and I wanted to get in there. And I wanted to get in there, and I was told by the janitor that I was that I was too small. <laughs> oh, You're too small, kid. Get out of here. And they actually kicked me out of the building because because I wanted to be a wrestler. That that I mean, you know what? That was a tough man's. I mean, you know what? That was a tough man's business. I mean, well, here you are. You're right here. See, look what happened. Yeah. I didn't let him stop me. But look, That's you it. know what? I also want to just talk about you know all of the people that you beat up up and down the road. I have noticed that the fans love you. You have a huge following. That's right, I do. They love me, and I love them too. See, there you go. See, that is, you know, that just warms my heart. That's when, true. Whenever you can say that you love them, and you know what, they just throw that love back at you. That's Isn't right. Isn't that a great thing? Love you, each and every one of you out there. Well, Randy, I do. Talk about the shirt, man. Yeah, look at this shirt. Yeah, stretch a yardy look brotherhood. At that. Look at Don't that. Don't you just love that? The yeah, same I mean. brotherhood. Stretch a yardy. That's right. That's actually Planet Wrestling's new, new motto. Yeah, that's it. Stretch a yardy. If you're a yardy, you know what? You might be able to buy one of our tickets, but you're not going to get in our ring because if you do, we're going to stretch you like Stretch Armstrong. You'll be in there with me. That's right. That's right. So, what are your plans now? What are your plans with Planet Wrestling? hurt people. Oh, see that makes me, that just makes me tingle all over. You want to hurt people. Well, pain. Uh, what like happened Mr. this King. last, you know, pain. pain, man. Uh, what happened this last match that we had? We actually put you in there with a student. Now, tell me this. How did he do? Uh, he did pretty good. He took that butt whooping that I gave him. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, you know, as a, as a student, how did he do? How, okay, let's just ask you this. How was his skills? Uh, he needs more practice. Well, sure he does. But, he, you know, he's coming along. He'll do pretty good. I mean, I mean, I saw you. You know what? You beat the tar out of the kid. Well, don't I do that to everybody? Oh, well, yeah. That's, that's what everybody else said. That's true. That's I true. don't really do that. No, I'm that's a nice true. guy. That's true. Just like you. We're well, all nice guys. I am a nice guy. Yeah. You know what? You know what? People don't like me, but I'm a nice guy. I really am. No, we like you. I know. We love you. Well, I, yeah. Well, I, well, you know what, I man? I thank you for that. You bet. So, Anytime. so anyway, so let's talk about your match. Tell the fans how it feels to be out there beating up somebody. What's it like? Because these fans want to know, man. These fans want to live through you. Tell them what it's like. It's a blast. It's like eating a bowl of Cheerios. <laughs> Eat Is your it? Wheaties. Eat your oatmeal. There you go. Words I to live by from Uncle Ted, right here. That's right, Uncle Ted. <laughs> yeah, <look. laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate that. So, so you know, tell them. I mean, tell these fans. You know what? If you can sum up, you know, basically, man, what it's like to be a wrestler. Sum it up. Hmm. Very well put, right there. See, that's perfect, man. Come on, come on. Tell these fans what it's like. I'm giving another chance because <laughs> it is hard. I know it is. Yeah, it is. It's uh, you got to really dedicate yourself to it. Yes, dedicate dedication, yourself. dedication, sacrifice, right. sacrifice. That's right. And I've done a lot of that. I did a lot of sacrifice. Yes, you have. And you look where you are. That's it. Look where you are. Stretch your yard. I've been. Uh, that's right. <laughs> I've, I've also been champion. I've yes. been a two-time. I double champion at one time for an organization I wrestled at, and over in Mobile. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, forget Mobile. Over in Alabama. Alabama? Alabama. Alabama. Somewhere in Alabama. Well, you Besides know, Loxley. Well, you know what, I man? That's okay. Yeah. And, you know what? The future looks bright, okay? You know what? Well, Loxley, Alabama has not seen the last of Turbo Ted. No. You know, not a lot of people know this. But you got a background that these people don't really know about. You've got, you've got some northern blood in you, don't you? That's right. I'm a maniac. You've got some northern blood. As a matter of fact, you've got some people in, you know, back in your past that don't have a really good reputation with the, with the South, do they? No. Actually, no. Not really. And I don't think we're going to jump into that right now because you said that you wanted to bring that out later. But that's, you know, that's going to be a big surprise to the people in life. Yeah. And also, I'm a genius, too. A genius? Yeah. How do you figure that? Oh, that's right. That's, that's right. right. I graduated 
Not from just high school. I graduated from college. There you go. I'm smart. Right there. Right That's there. right. I'm a genius. Graduated. And my middle name is genius. Now that. I can vouch for because that's true. It is. You genius. That's right. As in genius. you a genius. That's right. See? I mean, you can't get this kind of stuff anywhere else. I've done a whole lot. I've been a manager, and that's what makes you a genius is knowing what to do, what to do ahead of time. That's right. Ted, you know what? I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to give you the last probably what, 30 seconds. I want you to take us out, and I want you to tell the fans exactly what's on your mind. I want you to let them know exactly who you are. Man, this is your chance right now to just fill their head full of Ted right now. Go ahead. Come on out and see me. Watch me beat people up. That's right. Not just me, but everybody else. But come see Turbo Ted. Watch Turbo Ted. Take care of business like I always do. That's right. Amen. You know what? You can't say it any better than that. If you want to get your head filled with Ted, come on out to Planet Wrestling and just see this man right here. You know what? I guarantee you, after he chops somebody, you'll go home feeling it because it's the stiffest chop in the business. I Ted, learned it from the best. Thank you, man. We've had a good time. You're quite welcome. Now, partner. back behind us, you're going to see Ted's match right there. You know, I'm going to tell you what. You know what, you're probably like watching it right now. It just gives me chills. You know what, you you actually just beat that kid to a pulp. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. Look what You see that right there? <laughs> that is, that's terrific. I love that. Well. I love it. Well, when's the next show? May the... 26th. There you go. Come on out. Come on here. out to Loxley, Alabama. You know what, get your head filled with Ted. And also, Mr. Bobby Doll. Thanks, Ted. You're quite welcome, partner. See y'all later. 